let's continue our mini series into the kernels in Gen 2. So we've previously looked at the disk kernel, the one I recommend, and we've looked how to manually compile our own kernel. But what if you want to use LLVM or Clang to compile your kernels? Well, that's pretty simple as well. We need to do our normal things of immersion the kernel. Um, sources, which is Gen 2 sources in Gen 2. We know how to do that from the previous episode. So what we're going to do is we make sure we've got Clang installed. So emerge, emerge, BP Clang. Okay, and that's a remerge. So we're good. We, we know that's going to work. So what we need to do next is we go to a cd slash user source linux and to build with lmv we do llvm equals one and llvm underscore has equals one then make n config right and there we go now some of you are going to be wondering why why llvm for your kernel but well, the main reason I recommend it is if you build your whole system with LLVM, then you probably want to build your kernel with it as well. Um, the kernel does some magic stuff which sets things for which compiler you use. Portage does have a lot of fixes in that the um, in its program to make it work, but it doesn't always work. And obviously, if you do ever find a time where it doesn't work, do report them as bugs because they are. The last one I remember was NVIDIA wouldn't work if you uh, used an LLVM system at but a GCC compiled kernel. We have fixed that now, but it's just an example. Um, the other one is in here, uh, general architecture. You can actually add link time optimization. You can do four um, LTO. Now, I don't really recommend this. It does actually make the kernel um, bigger for memory usage and I have noticed a little longer in boot times as well so I recommend no LTO on this one it's the only time really I do recommend that um, for LTO users if you don't use LTO don't bother so I am gonna leave that off now we've already compiled kernel with um, make with make local config but we can do that again like this yes config just so you can see and there you go it's done everything there so we're done now you're going to ask how do we compile well that's simple isn't it we just do allow vm equals one allow vm underscore has equals one and then we do make and we set a j for what we need i'll just do 30 today so let's build Okay, so we've done that, and then we can do make modules in store. And finally, make install. And there we are, everything's built, dry cuts run, and if we look in ls slash boot, we're going to see VM Linux 6.613 Gen 2 Imolo. Perfect. That is our LLVM compiled kernel. No LTO. Looking good. So that's all there is to it, really. Not that hard. But yeah, I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Keep compiling.